So as you can see, I am changing out an old toilet lid. Uh, this one has a drill mark in the middle of it because I've been, uh, I started with the idea of drilling these out. What happened, of course, is they got stuck because they've corroded in place. The, uh, you know, everything's broken enough. You can't unscrew it, but too tight to just pull off. So we've got a hacksaw blade that's free of a, of a saw. I do have a regular full-size saw. I've got masking tape, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in just a minute. Okay, so I have that taped off now. Now, the reason I'm doing this, you could just cut it off without it being taped up, but what's gonna happen is the hacksaw blade right here, when I start using that to uh, cut the bolts off underneath there, I'm gonna have to sneak underneath this top part. Technically, since we're throwing this toilet lid away, it wouldn't matter if I cut the bracket up, but either way, it's going to mar and make a mess on the toilet itself that is relatively hard to clean up or, you know, because for some reason that metal mars on there. So, uh, so you want to, you also want to keep this here tape in good shape and not just assume it's reaching because if it gets uh, cut through in some places and that blade starts to reach, you're going to definitely leave a mess on the toilet. Okay, so here we are. We're, we're doing the cutting now. And you can see right here it's scratching pretty good. But I have two layers on that spot and it's still holding up. So that's good. Uh, I'm using the hacksaw blade without a hand, uh, handle at all because there's just not enough room to get in here. Sometimes they do have handles that will clamp onto one end of it. And you could run it about like this through there. Uh, obviously it would be too long if you tried to put a handle here and run it that length. So that's how I am gracefully, patiently cutting it. Okay, we're finally through. We uh, took a lot of patience, uh, but you can see there's just minor scratching right here that it looks like it's well insulated from the toilet still. Uh, I did use a pliers to bend this up and manipulate this here piece a little bit as I was going to get it up and that's just ahead of the screw in there. It's actually jammed in there because of my pliers, but that bent it up and got it a little more easier for me to get my a hacksaw on there. So I'm just going to repeat the same on this side over here. And then that's about it. Unfortunately, once they weld in place, uh, you just have to cut them to get them loose. And that's when you're really thankful that they use brass instead of iron. Uh, alternatively, you could use a hacks or a uh, reciprocating saw to do the same work. The problem is, is you would have all kinds of scratching all the way through both sides and a lot of uh, mess. I know because I've done it on the bottom of the toilet uh, and then found out later you could not fix it. You could clean it off the toilet. So this is a lot less messy and in, in the case of the second bolt, I can't even get the hacksaw or the reciprocating saw in place, either one. So, oh, that's it for now. <laughs> okay, so alternatively, this is another thing I noticed that the wing nut is so corroded underneath there whenever the one side came off it took the wing nut in two, so all it would take is a, a little bit of a chisel or something else to finish breaking the ring, wing, wing nut off, if I can say it, break it off and uh, knock that out and just pull the bolt out. So that's what I'm going to do because this other side's a little tighter. Uh, at this point I can't even get my hex on underneath it very well, so I have to cut that out. Uh, if you don't have that, if it's stuck and this here's too tight, then I would say you have to go back to the drill as an option and just drill that screw out from the top. Get it so weak that you can just tap it out. That's it. Okay, so I just had to show you the final outcome of this. I busted both wings off of the nut. You can see it still stayed in place and didn't break like the other nut did. However, in this case, the hole is big enough and the nut broke off with both wings off. It's small enough, I was able just to pull it right through the hole. So, there you go. Problem solved.